So Woj just reported that D'Angelo Russell has been traded from Golden State to Minnesota. D'Angelo Russell, Jacob Evans, and Amari Spellman are going to Minnesota in exchange for Andrew Wiggins' 2021 first round pick that is top three protected in 2021 from Minnesota. And if that pick lands in the top three, it conveys to 2022 as a unprotected first round pick. Golden State also gets Minnesota's 2021 second round pick. So Minnesota might not have any draft capital in next year's draft, which is supposed to be a lot better draft than this year's coming up. But yeah, this is so shocking because I thought Minnesota was out on the Devo sweepstakes. After trading Rocco, I thought they were going to stand pat, kind of tank for the rest of the year, get a good draft pick, and then maybe look to trade Devo or trade for Devo in the offseason. I also thought maybe the Knicks were just going to do a Knicks move at the deadline and then just shock everybody and go out and trade Devo. And honestly, I thought this was a little bit of an undersell by the Warriors. I thought they would be able to get a lot more for Devo. Maybe they could have in the offseason. I mean, you get Andrew Wiggins. He's on a pretty poor contract, but hey, he's had, I think, like four different head coaches in his first five years in Minnesota, or it's something like that. I mean, he hasn't had really a true point guard. It's been Jeff Teague, but I mean, Jeff Teague hasn't been great for them, and they'll have Steph Curry in Golden State, so that is a huge upgrade. He'll have a better coach in Steve Kerr, and I'm excited to see what he's going to be with Draymond Green, who's definitely a better playmaker than Jeff Teague. Clay Thompson as well. They're going to have a top 10 pick in the 2020 draft. So yeah, D'Lo is now a Timberwolf. And this is huge for Minnesota because now they can keep Carl Anthony Towns happy because they're literally on the brink of just like falling apart because they're so bad as it is. I believe they're the 14th seed in the Western Conference at this current moment. Cat hasn't won a game since I think like Thanksgiving. And yeah, you get your point guard center tandem for the future. And I honestly think this is pretty good deal. I thought they would have had to give up two first round picks or their 2020 first for D'Lo. So they get to keep their first next year. And then for next year, if they're bad enough with D'Lo and Cat, they're going to keep their pick if it's a top three pick in the draft. But if not, say it's like the ninth or 10th pick in the draft, hey, it goes to the Warriors and you basically traded the 10th overall pick, Wiggins, and a second for D'Angelo Russell. And I think that's a job well done by Gerson Rosas. I think he got really good value. For Golden State, they obviously wanted to get out of the luxury tax which i believe this deal does that for them because they moved on from spellman evans and d -Lo, and the only co uh, money coming back is andrew wiggins who's making less than d -Lo, i believe or at least less than all three of those players combined they still might move kevin looney but i don't think so and yeah they also are going to have their 2020 first round pick maybe they're going to add a james wiseman or an anthony edwards or somebody in that area and then they're also going to be able to roll out a steph clay wiggins green maybe wiseman starting five is that better then a Curry, Clay, Russell, or a Curry, Russell, Clay, Green, Wiseman starting five, but have to pay the luxury tax? I don't know. Um, it's obviously what the owner wants to do if they want to pay the tax. If they don't want to pay the tax, I believe for the Warriors, it's the repeater tax because they've been in the luxury tax three of the last four years. So now they have to pay extra money, which owners don't like to do. So they obviously want to get out of that repeater tax, which I believe this deal does they they get now a good first round pick next year which i think will go to them i don't think the timberwolves are going to be one of the three worst teams in the league next year hey i could be completely wrong or they might win the lottery next year we don't know what's going to happen in a year and a half from now but hey they're going to possibly get maybe a pick maybe a lottery pick maybe the t-wolves might surprise people next year and make the playoffs it's not a good free agency class so you really don't know if they're going to be able to add anyone there you're going to have to see who they get adrift obviously they win the lottery and you had Anthony Edwards in this team, that'd be fantastic. You'd have Russell, Edwards, Cat, um, Akoji, Culver. It's a nice foundation to build around. Obviously, they probably want that power forward next to Cat. Maybe that's Oneka Okonwu. Maybe that's Obi Toppin. We'll have to see when that um, time comes. Or maybe Denny Avdija. They think he could be a stretch four in the NBA. But they really need a good defensive power forward there. So, hey, that might be uh, Oneka Okonwu from uh, USC. So, we're going to have to see what happens with them down the line if they'll make another move. But... I, I like this trade for the Timberwolves. I do. You get um, Rocco off the hands, and you get now a probably the 15, 16, or 17 pick in the draft from the Nets from the Rocco trade, which is really good because now you're going to have two top 20 first round picks that you can add to next year's team. But yeah, I said this on Twitter is Andrew Wiggins going to have the Harrison Barnes type role there in Golden State where he's pretty much just going to take spot up threes, which honestly might not be so bad for him. He'll cut down on his turnovers, cut down on his mid-range or his long mid-range jumpers, and maybe this can improve him. Um, teams will not really focus on Wiggins because they're going to have to focus on the Splash Brothers. So I think this will be good for Wiggins, and I think the Warriors kind of saw that, and Bob Myers saw that. Also, some other news we could talk about before this video ends. The Knicks fired Steve Mills. I haven't mentioned that 
that in a video and they just hired and they hired Leon Rose who's an agent for CAA I believe he's the agent of Chris Paul Carl Anthony Towns Devin Booker and a plethora of other players I don't mind this I mean I really don't know much about him but apparently he's one of the more respected agents in the NBA so maybe it'll go good for the Knicks probably will go bad because that seems like what everything is happening when the Knicks make a big hire like this and yeah the Knicks are probably I think they're in talks right now to trade Marcus Morris and then obviously if that happens I'll be making a video about that I think the Lakers took out Kyle Kuzma in that deal and the war and the Clippers don't want to trade Landry Shamit so it's looking like it might be Mo Harkless uh Kevin Jelly Terrence Mann and their 2021st for Marcus Morris and then maybe maybe Reggie Bulk will be thrown in there or Wayne Ellington maybe another throw in because obviously you have to if you're going to get three players you got to send out three players so that might happen and it's kind of funny because I remember when the Knicks were looking to trade Melo Mo Harkless always came up because they might have traded Melo to um Portland so this would be a big trade obviously for both teams and I think if the Knicks get two young players and a first round pick and Mo Harkless that's a pretty good return for a one-year free agency signing last year that's actually a job well done by the Knicks front office <laughs> right you don't get to say that a lot but it is sorry if I'm also talking really fast this just caught me by surprise the whole Devo stuff I really didn't think he was gonna get traded and when I read it I honestly thought it was gonna say the New York Knicks and you know what for Wiggins I guess they really wanted a good player in return um at that statue at least they didn't care how much he was making because the Knicks really didn't have as good of a player as Wiggins unless they were throwing in Barrett or Mitch Robb which they weren't going to do or their 2021st their best player could have been Morris or Julius Randle I don't think that entices them because they're just a little bit on the older side at least Morris and Randle really doesn't fit that team whatsoever Kevin Knox is still unproven same with Neil Kina Dennis Smith Jr but yeah let me know who you guys think won the Warriors trade between the two Wolves we really won't know who won it until we see how Devo and the T Wolves do next year and who they draft with that first round pick and how Wiggins plays in Golden State stayed with the Splash Brothers back and that team is fully healthy next year. But yeah, this was a really exciting trade deadline so far. I think the last big move we will get is Marcus Morris. I don't think Drummond, Luke Kennard, anyone like that is going to get traded, but I, I might get surprised and you guys are probably seeing this close to three o'clock. So you probably already know who got traded and who didn't. And if another big move happens, I'll talk about that then. I will have a Roko Rockets rebuild out soon. I don't know if you're going to see that before this or after this. I will do a Delo T-Wolves rebuild tomorrow. But yeah, something I didn't talk about actually that I kind of want to mention. The Warriors only have nine players on roster three of those are Alan Smiley, Jack is hurt Clay Thompson and Steph Curry both hurt so they have six players that are healthy on their roster and they have to sign I think about four more and they're I believe around three mil below the luxury tax so they're, have to, they're gonna have to sign all minimum guys or maybe they're just gonna have to sign a bunch of guys from the G League to minimum contracts that's probably what they're gonna have to do but yeah like I said I will have a Devo Timberwolves rebuild out tomorrow sorry if I said Devo Warriors I will have a Wiggins Warriors rebuild out Saturday maybe do a double upload with like a new look Clippers or a new look Knicks and then whatever I don't do there uh between the Knicks and Clippers if that trade does happen I'll do Sunday but yeah that is gonna be for me hope you guys did enjoy the video like always leave a like sorry if I was talking fast I feel like I was I was just really amped up from this Devo trade and then yeah let me know in the comments who you think won that trade at the current moment i think that the warriors could have got a little bit more but hey i don't know what his value is to nba gm so i really can't say that so yeah that's good for me thank you all for watching i love you guys i'll see you guys next video peace <laughs>